my dearests, we today we have Sarah here with us. Sarah is working on BEAT, one of our dearest Yauk schools located in Bournemouth. Um, I think the first thing that I would love to, to talk about BEAT is the energy that all members have and provide to your students. It's an absolutely amazing atmosphere. Uh, your students 100% will have fun while we'll be learning a lot. And this is such a great atmosphere that uh, I'm pretty sure your students won't uh, um, leave this school so early. Like, you miss this school so much. We have, we've been talking before me and Sarah, and she's been telling me these stories about students that come over the years back to the school. And when like they have this really high level of English, they still visiting the school just to uh, to keep, to, to conversate, to, to, to have a conversation, nice conversation to meet everyone in the school again. So this is a school that have a such great atmosphere and a really high quality of studies. And uh, first, First of all, let me introduce uh, Sarah to you all. Sarah, thank you so much for you to attend our webinar today. Um, I you start to share our screen or slides and uh, also feel free um, um, or dearest agents to ask your questions if you do have uh, while we are presenting, then we will be answering them uh, for you. So let me just prepare or slides, let me see here. Okay, great. Uh, are you all seeing properly my slides? Yeah. Or your slides are? <laughs> I can see. Perfect, okay. So uh, if you want to introduce yourself as well, Sarah. Okay, thank That's you great. for the introduction. Um, hello everyone, thank you so much for having me. I'm really grateful for your time. Um, my name's Sarah Beasley. I'm the marketing executive for Beat Language Centre. We're a family-run language centre in the south of England, um, and we've been operational for 44 years this year. Um, I'm the daughter of the directors, so um, the school is very close to my heart and something I feel very passionate about. So yeah, it's a pleasure to be talking to you today about Beat. Thank you. Well, that's great. Thank you so much, Sarah. Well, uh, I believe we can be starting our presentation. Would you like to to start, Sarah, or would you like me to? Uh, I'm more than happy for you to lead if you'd like to. I can tell you a little <laughs> bit about the the school itself. As you can see, this is our beautiful school, um, and it's res um, it's in a residential area. Um, which makes it ideal um, for students because they all live very close by. So all of our accommodation is within 20 minute walking distance, uh, which is fantastic. Um, it's close to a high street with lots of shops and bars and restaurants and a post office, even a nightclub. Um, so there are lots of facilities very close to the school. You don't have to go into the town centre, which isn't far away. Um, to reach everything you need. So we're, we're very lucky to be located where we are um, in a quiet residential area, which is great. I, uh, I think I will try to show some pictures of this school as well uh, and uh, the location of Burnmouth because there are such amazing pictures on the, in, in, in your website. So I really uh, would recommend you all to access a uh, bit website because there are such a m amazing pictures that would show the location. But first, have a look on this really beautiful picture of the campus. So look this front side. It's it's amazing. So it's really uh, warming. Uh, it, by looking at this picture, I really feel like it's really welcoming place. Um, I also, I believe on the structure of this school, we do offer everything that a student needs, as we've been saying, so library, bookshops, two computer rooms, an outside seating area, um, well, complete with the marquee in the summer months, so uh, we can see that we can be enjoying some outside, uh, or students can be gathering there and having, I guess, well, happy hours or, you know, lunch breaks, uh, good activities. Uh, yeah, th this is really, really great. Uh, something that is um, 
uh, something that I really like. It's uh, the the canteen option. Yes. yes. So so it, I would say that it's something that not many schools have also when we talking about the structure itself and a canteen means that the students can be you know having like a, um, a breakfast or a lunch at school correct if i'm wrong sarah yes, yes it's t it tends to be more um break times and uh lunch times because students would love to have breakfast every morning and spend as long as they could in there but um yeah coffee tea all day long proper coffee as well we've got an excellent coffee machine which is very important um and everything is homemade so all of our all of our meals all of our sandwiches we have soup every day everything is freshly made every day so we're very lucky and we keep the prices as low as possible to encourage students to eat with us because it's nice for people to socialize together after class it's a great way of students getting to know other students from different classes and the canteen's a really lovely place to come together it's the heart of the school um, so yeah, we've got a huge selection of food, healthy and unhealthy, and our chocolate brownies are world famous and very dangerous, so I try and stay away from them, <laughs> but yeah, it's a really <laughs> lovely place to eat. Yeah. <laughs> you look you got me there when you said a proper coffee, that, that's, uh, that, that, that says a lot, it's a... Uh... <laughs> Well, I'm really feeling like I want to be there right now. Uh, so this is a, a, a short introduction of our campus, of our location and facilities. So we were going to talk more about homestays later, I guess. Uh, but we, we, we can see that uh, we do have, uh, as Sarah said, uh, accommodations nearby which can be a really perfect option for the students. So I think here, Sarah, we want to understand the atmosphere, like uh, the vibe, the, the energy from the city. And uh, you, you can start uh, your presentations. If I feel that we want to you know something extra, we'll be asking. Also you agents, if you want, if you have more questions, feel more than free to ask. Okay, so well, Bournemouth itself um, is a very famous multi-award winning uh, seaside town. Um, so we're very lucky because we attract a nice mixture of visitors. We've got lots of lots of UK visitors and we get lots of international visitors. Um, as you can see from the picture here, we're on the, the south coast. Well, we're, we have a beautiful beach. It's 10 kilometers in length and it's sand not stones, which is very important. Um, it's it's very clean, it's very safe, you can swim. If you're brave enough, it depends what temperatures you're used to. Um, in the summer, we experience quite nice heat, actually. Students sometimes complain it's too hot, which is always a surprise to me. So it can get up to the 30s. Um, and actually, last year, um, we hit 40, which was not common. Um, but it's it's a great place to be in the summer. We're as far south as you can get, so we get the best of the weather, um, which is wonderful. Um, as you can see, the beaches themselves look beautiful, um, and in the summer, Bournemouth sells itself. Um, but in the winter as well, it's a wonderful place to be. So although these photos illustrate the summer months, there's an awful lot to do here in the winter. And because it's a university town, um, there's always a lot going on. There's lots of music, there's lots of festivals. Um, there are lots of cultural events. So you always have something to do, which I love. You're never bored here. And again, because of its variety, it attracts a mixture of ages and nationalities, as I've said. Um, just recently, we had a Brazilian couple here in their 60s and 70s, and they had the time of their lives. They did not want to go home. And very often, you know, we get that with the more mature students because there is so much to do and around the area locally there's so much to do as well so it makes the location ideal um so not only to study in but also to enjoy while you're here so it's it's ideal 
it's uh, it is really great to to know that uh, not uni only university students would be having fun uh, at at the city, but also you know um, older older people, and uh, like sixty and seventy. That, that that's amazing. Like I really want <laughs> you to meet these students, uh, which, which probably we are going to uh, ask questions about that later. Um, so things that really. Uh, I think he uh, 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 takes my attention is the the population, which is a medium sized city, even for Brazil. You know, well, it depends where in Brazil, but medium sized city, which is always great. Medium sized cities have the best of both worlds. You know, it's uh, a lot of activities, a lot of uh, a lot of nightlife, and as university, I guess you uh, and actually want to ask you, uh, would we do have like daily um, you know, uh, activities on the day as well, like concerts or, you know, uh, bars, cafes, where the absolutely, students go? Absolutely, absolutely. Your sport for choice. There's an awful lot. I mean, restaurants, so many, bars, so many, clubs. You have a few um, which appeal to different types. We have international student parties in the summer, especially. We have um, discos. Uh, can I say that still? I don't know. Discos for under 18s as well. So we cater for all ages. Um, and the cafe culture here is fantastic too. So lots of cafes also. There's a real mixture of things. Um, and musically speaking, we're very, very lucky. We have some very big concert halls with some very big bands coming. Um, which are fantastic. And there are smaller, smaller clubs and, and pubs, which also host music events too. So it's a really lively place, a really lovely atmosphere, if you want it to be. Equally, if you want a quieter life, you can find that too. You know, there's a real mixture. You get the choice here, which is the nice thing. And also, Sarah, I remember we were talking last time about, you know, uh, well, summer, we were talking about 30 degrees. Uh, I would like to know about these sandy beaches, if we can, uh, actually, there, there is proper for surfing. Uh, there are waves, it's calm uh, ocean. Well, what is the... Okay, well, it depends on the day. I'll be totally honest with you. It depends on the weather. So yes, sometimes surfing is um, really, really popular on certain days when it's windy. On um, on Boscombe Beach and Bournemouth Beach, where that pier is there, by the piers in particular, the waves can get very big. So it's a very popular location for surfers. I wouldn't say we promote the destination for surfing, but surfing is possible and happens quite a lot. I would say other water sports like paddle boarding, kayaking, um, kite surfing again when it's windy, lots of water sports. We're big here on water sports. So lots of students enjoy lots of water sports here, which is great, but a mixture of things. Um, so yeah, it's a really great place to do that kind of thing as well. Very popular. Oh, perfect. Thank you for the explanation, Sarah. Um, well, programs. <laughs> Yeah. And you, you, I, I believe you are the right person to 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 introduce the the pro programs that you are offering, and ah, then I you have questions. <laughs> Okay, yes, sorry to interrupt you there. Okay, so general English, I mean, it's really popular, as with everywhere, I'm sure. Um, you can study 20 lessons, 24 lessons, or 28 lessons a week, depending on how intensive you want your course to be. Um, we have a general program, which is the 20 lessons, and that applies to all courses. So we have general English, IELTS preparation and Cambridge preparation. So it's all organized in the same format. If you want to study more, you can either focus on your skills, so speaking, pronunciation and vocabulary or reading and writing separately in additional option classes. Or if you need extra examination preparation, you're able to do that in these afternoon lessons we offer as well. So we try and make the programs as flexible as possible so they appeal to, to everyone. Some students join us and they feel they want more. Other students feel that, you know, 20 lessons is enough and I'd like to go to the beach now, please. It depends on the student. It depends on what they want if they're here more for a holiday and a bit of English or intensive um, studies, it just depends. So we talk them through everything when they get here and give them as many um, options as possible. 
Um, we do have a 40 plus summer programme as well. This year, it's actually, um, it's it's been postponed purely because we've got so many bookings already. I probably shouldn't say that. We're very, very popular um, over the next few months, which is such a relief, I have to say. Um, and although the 40 plus programme is wonderful, um, all of the classes take place in mainstream classes. So the students are integrated. So the 40 plus students um, the, the focus is on their language level and not their age. What makes the 40 plus thing special is the social program, the extra activities we do with them. And to be perfectly honest, we do so much with our older students unofficially anyway, that we've um, we've decided to still invite those students to us, but to just to reformat the programme slightly and next year relaunch it with a slightly um, bigger focus on that again. But everything else you see is available um, and operational throughout the year. That's really great to hear, Sarah. Um, we, yeah, we, we noticed an uh, increase on, uh, on 40 plus programmes around Brazil as well. It's getting every year more and more popular. Um, on, on this summer programs, when w w will that be uh, in the plan to have like an um, uh, every week start or a monthly basis start from this program, or? Um, it's just it's just in so again as I said, um, it's it is a summer program, but because we're welcoming students over 30, 40, 50, 60 throughout the year, we're sort of doing it on a a regular basis anyway um, and it also gives the staff the slightly older members of staff like me and the directors and some of the teachers the opportunity to do things with the students outside of, of you know the class anyway so um but the the other programs we offer our year round Cambridge English preparation is the only course we offer that's restricted to specific dates, but I think that's the same everywhere. And we do offer a summer option for Cambridge English too. So that's something that's quite interesting and, and growing in popularity. Oh, perfect. Thank you, Sarah. Um, let me change the slides, activities. Well, um, looks like on activities, you are really spot on. Uh, that, that we, we have a, a activities quite often, if not every day. <laughs> um, if you want to introduce us uh, a little bit on activities, that would be great, Sarah. Well, oh, okay, so this is a, a typical sort of week at Beats. Um, I publish what's on this week, every week on the website. So if you want to have a look at any given week, you can just go to our social program page and you'll find what's on. Um, so typically we offer, as standard, we offer five evening activities a week. So that is included in the registration fee. It's what all students are able to take part in for no extra cost. So we have a very popular Monday music evening with one of our teachers who's a brilliant musician. So the students love seeing their teacher out of the teaching environment, dazzling them with his guitar and songs. It's brilliant. Um, so that was um, the Monday activity. We have games nights. Um, table tennis has become crazily popular and very competitive. So we have like an international table tennis tournament. We've done it for years, um, but now we're giving students medals because they're going absolutely crazy for it. But other games are available, so Uno and cards. And, and it's also a social sort of evening where we've got the music on and, you know, students just come and talk and hang out and get to know one another outside of the class. So it's a really nice opportunity for students to come together with, awards for the best table tennis players, of course. Um, then there's quiz night. Uh, so that's, um, as it as it says, uh, you know, an evening um, for students to take part in a quiz and they compete against one another. Again, there are prizes, chocolates and that kind of thing. Um, and then we offer a movie night sometimes. Again, we mix these activities up. So this, although we offer 
these activities regularly we don't always offer the same things um movie night is popular but some students prefer sort of an evening lecture or um we've got a new evening um have you heard of mafia it's a new game or traitor they call it so we've started this new game um and again it's really interactive and everyone joins in and there's lots of communication and conversation which is great so that's become really popular um but nothing is quite as popular at the moment as karaoke. Sorry, terrible pronunciation. Uh, but the students absolutely love that. So Friday night has become more often than not karaoke night. Um, and it's amazing. In fact, I've posted on our Instagram page only yesterday, um, two of our Japanese students doing a duet together. Um, they were amazing. The talent we've got here is off the scale. It's just wonderful. So that's very popular. Um, so all of those things, Monday to Friday, are included in the registration fee. Um, we offer Saturday or Sunday excursions, but these you have to pay extra for. So you're normally looking between £35 and £45, so very reasonable. Um, and our teachers take the students to London. We've got a QR code they can scan to receive all of the information about the area they're visiting. Um, they go on a walking tour to see all of the iconic parts of the city they're visiting. Um, and we provide lots of information. Um, and then they can go and have their free time, go and have lunch, go shopping do whatever um yeah it's a really good opportunity for students to to visit lots of really cool places nearby and because Bournemouth is quite well located in terms of getting to other places of interest like London, Oxford, Cambridge, Bath, Salisbury, Stonehenge um it, it, it makes life really easy for us because it's not it's not a long journey on a bus and we have all the benefits of being in Bournemouth, which on the whole is sort of a cheaper place to live generally. I mean, it's about half the cost of living in London, you know, so it, it's ideally located. And part of the social program is to visit all of these lovely places. So, yeah, we're very lucky. Oh, that that that's really amazing, you know, Sarah. Um, sometimes even uh, one of the 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 be one of the the problems of big cities is the time that you lose on transportation. For example, uh, for a student that wants to study, let's suppose uh, twenty eight lessons a week, you know, that wouldn't uh, last him too many uh, free time, but not enough uh, sometimes. So it's good to know that, for example. Um, for a student that is in a medium-sized city, uh, uh, this student can actually can be going to all the tourist points, the tourist locations they want to meet by a, a really reasonable price. Uh, and uh, well, th these activities are really great. For you agents, um, one of the really important things to be doing this, uh, you know, to be studying abroad is uh, the, the immersion. Uh, so activities are really great immersive, immersive programs where the students can be knowing each other, practicing English and improving even faster in a better, in a better way. So it will be helping uh, and adding to their, you know, um, not only studies, but also an amazing experience. This is what all students want to have. And uh, schools that offer activities and so many activities such beach you know such beat sorry uh, will be um we will be really uh reminded in a really great way from from, from these students and uh, students always be recommending you know these schools they do love and also the agents that are being sending them to that school. So I can see here is a huge win-win situation for our students, a huge and amazing experience well, from uh, so far, everything we've been saying. And uh, well, also on the location, a student can save money as it's cheaper than London. So it can make the student to maybe stay for, for longer. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it can be if the, if the student really wants to go to London, as we know Brazilians, they do love London. Um, they can be using the weekends to do that, even in an excursion with their colleagues, with the teacher, which will be an amazing uh amazing deal <laughs> so yeah thank you Saraj, for the explanation 
it sounds really, really uh, attractive. Yes. Uh, here, I guess we have some of these activities examples. Um, yeah, these um, these are certainly these are normally in addition to our social program. Although I can see there there's a couple of our social program on there as well. So again, in the summer, as I said, the warm weather lends itself really well to things like boat parties, um, horse riding. Um, so we organise these events as well. Um, so not strictly as part of the social program, but as additional things for students to do. Um, and we really enjoy helping students um, with things to do. And because we're local, we know all the secrets, we know all the tips. Um, so recently the horse riding there, you can see, um, we helped a student with um, in the summer and they had the most fantastic times. Um, they went on treks, they went on the beach with the horses. Um, there's another excursion um, where we organize a boat party. There are sort of jazz cruises, gin cruises, all very close by because we've got the sea right next to us and all of these organizations that, you know, recognize the importance of of these trips for the international visitors especially um, and then in the winter we've got things like ice skating as you can see I took a group of Argentinians ice skating a few a few weeks ago and it was brilliant it was so much fun um, it's it's fantastic so locally we have in the in the winter an ice rink from January sorry excuse me from November to February which is fantastic um so we get to do things like that we have paintballing activities we have bowling which isn't on there um laser quest so many things um so we help students organize all of these things but there are also companies as you can see on the left hand side here of the screen that organize uh, day trips and excursions in addition to what we can offer so so we've got so many options honestly it's impossible to be bored impossible I challenge you to be bored while you're here it's great so we can help we can we can do as much or as little as the students want us to do to help them make even more memories while they're here perfect thank you Sarah um, let me change slides now uh, cost of living which is really important for us to understand um, do you want to talk uh, about the, the cost of living? Sure, absolutely. As I said, one of the benefits of living here is the cost of living um, being so much cheaper. Um, I've just highlighted a few examples because you could go on forever. Um, so the beet canteen, which we've already talked about, as you can see, you can get um, tea or coffee for one pound 20 to two pounds and this is proper coffee so we're talking americano latte cappuccino really nice stuff um hot and cold sandwiches and wraps between 250 and 350 which i think is excellent value um a hot lunch which is either homemade soup or an omelet or burger and chips some people like that um or falafel wraps there's a real range salads chef salads um so all of that is between 350 and 550 which again i think is so reasonable i eat here every day and i love the food and most of our students like to eat here but if they don't want to eat here, then there's a pub five minutes away and there's a whole high street with restaurants and sandwich shops at the end of the road as well. Um, so as you can see, a pint of beer is sort of just over four pounds. A glass of wine is just over five. Um, and restaurants, again, because of where we're located, don't tend to be so expensive. So you can get a good meal for 30 pounds. Um, we say between 30 and 55 for a three course meal, but I don't know how often people actually go out and have three courses. I just normally do a main meal and dessert, but hey. <laughs> um, so the cost of living is, is very reasonable. Um, bus passes, um, if a student wants a bus pass for a week, it's £16, which again, I think is amazing. But really, most of our students don't need to catch buses that often because we are 
in the residential area, as I explained, they're all within walking distance of their home stays, which means they can come to and from the school on foot or by bicycle. Um, so really, I tend to say to students, if you need to catch the bus, just pay as you go. You know, it's £2.50 a journey. And unless you're using the bus all the time, which you don't need to, then it's probably not really worth getting a, you know, a bus pass for. But that option is there. Um, then bicycle hire, £15 a week, or barrel bikes and scooters, which are very popular now. Um, it's charged by the minute. I just um, did a selection there. So you can see, I think, oh, I have to get a bit closer. 12p a minute for a barrel bike and, and how much? A little bit more for a scooter. But as you can see, it's all very reasonable if the students want that option. But everything is reachable on foot, really. Even walking into town is no more than 25 minutes. So you can do exercise as well as, you know, as well as see the town while you're while you're here. It's a good way of getting about. Um, spare time, it depends on the student and what they want to do. So I just put a selection of things in here. We've got cinema, mini golf, um, swimming pool, bowling, um, you know, disco entry. There's a mixture of things. And as you can see, it's all very reasonable. Um, even gym membership, which has become very popular among students who like to stay fit while they're here, you know, 21 pounds a month, it's nothing really. So it's very affordable, um, which is great. And I think that's the main point here. Everything here is affordable um, and a lot cheaper compared to the other big cities. So we're very lucky. Uh, look, Sarah, I can tell you I was just con converting some prices here and I can tell you there are things that are cheap, cheaper even in uh, cheaper than Brazil. Oh, For example, wow. yeah, uh, a selection of tea and coffee, you know, like I would be paying near to two pounds every time that I, you know, go out for coffee. Mm. Um, and uh, well, uh, I'm in Salvador, Brazil. I used to live in Sao Paulo as well. And I could tell you that the price would be similar. Um, the gym membership, it's about the same price. We do have the, you know, the popular uh, chains here in Brazil, such as, I don't know if you heard about Smart Fit, but when mm -hmm. you go to the, some other, pro, uh, other gyms here, they can go much higher prices. So that, that's quite surprising for me as well, because I can see the prices are actually uh, really uh, affordable. You know, sure, some things the students would be paying more, you know, on the conversion. But uh, for us, you don't have these huge differences. Um, we can we can tell it's definitely affordable for the Brazilians. Uh, I do have only one question here. You know, the uh, on the 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 barrel bikes and scooters uh, pay as you right. I can see that we have pounds, and uh, the price per minute is an on cents. Is what, sorry? Oh, oh sorry. The, the price per, per minute is like cents, pennies? Yes, I... it's in pennies, yeah. The pennies. Yeah, okay. it, it, Thank no, you. Second, don't... Sorry, sorry. I wasn't tuned in. Yeah, in pennies. I mean, it's a funny way of doing it, really. But then I suppose students might only want to, to use a scooter or a bike to get into town, which on a scooter would take 15 minutes. So, yeah, it's it, perhaps it must be for that reason that it's done in minutes rather than by the hour which again is really reasonable so you're you're being charged for use by the minute so it's actually better for the student yeah uh, yes uh, i really you know, when i was traveling i really loved to use this option of you know be tourist uh, doing tourism around it, it, it's it's really great it was just because of the the the, the little letter i i wasn't sure if it was pennies <laughs> yes <laughs> really i know to... i know it's funny isn't it it is pennies which is rare to see these days it is rare to see <laughs> Well, perfect. That explains a, a lot about the cost of living. Uh, thank you, Sarah. Uh, and uh, yay, prices. So uh, you can, uh, it's pretty clear here, but you can also explain us about, uh, on the prices. 
Yeah. Um, well, these were the discounted package prices um, for, for EARC. Um, members. Uh, so, and these package prices include, as it says, 20 lessons a week, half board host family, um, and that's full board at the weekend, which is standard for all students. So, uh, at the weekend, they are um, welcome to eat lunch with their host families as well. If they go on an excursion, they're able to ask for a packed lunch to take with them. So, you know, they're getting real value for money there. Um, all of our package prices also include one year's unlimited access to Beat Online. Now, Beat Online is our online learning platform. Again, I can send you a link to this to illustrate just how brilliant it is. But students are given a username and a password on the day they start here with us, and then they can access thousands of materials um, to help them improve their English. So not only are their course books which they're using day to day in class on that platform. There are loads of podcasts and websites and grammar doctors and all of these wonderful things for them to help improve their English while they're here and when they go home again because it's for one year. So teachers also use the platform in class they set homework on it um, so the students are very familiar with the interface they know how to use it they know how to get the best out of it so that is such an added bonus for any student studying here who's serious about language learning um, so all of that is included in the package price as well as is our social program which I've told you about five evenings a week um, all of our course books and materials if you're here for two weeks or 44 weeks everything you see for the package price there is included um you don't need to buy any additional materials or books or anything it's what you see there is what you get and obviously lots of help and assistance from us um which is really important too so it's a personalized service perfect thank you sarah um well i guess we are getting to the end of the presentation uh so be it social media here for you dearest agents to access. So again, go through the website and explore. Uh, you won't regret it. Um, they are also an advisor. So you can be quotating a bit on advisor. Um, and uh, then our uh, popular channels, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Um, well, I guess now we start to answer some of the questions. Uh, but thank you all to be watching our, our presentation. Sarah, that was lovely, really great. Thank you so much for your presentation. Um, mm -hmm. you, you saw the destination and the school really well. It's really clear for us. We can we, we can have this idea of, of what to expect when we are traveling to, to Bournemouth and to study at Pete. Um, I will stop the presentation right now and start with some questions that we had. The first question is, what is the biggest selling point when we compare BEAT uh, to other schools? What would you highlight on, on BEAT, Sarah? Okay, well, the quality of the school is obviously hugely important and we are number one school um, in Bournemouth on British Council accreditation strengths um, and actually locally in the south. So we're very we're very lucky uh, to be able to say we are the best and can qualify that. So the the standard of the courses is exceptionally high. Our teachers are all highly qualified. Um, but the most important thing that students really love and come back to again and again is the atmosphere and the welcome and the friendliness and the help and the support and that is what we love the most so we really pride ourselves on providing a five-star service and we care we genuinely care about our students more than you know more than most schools I think and they can come to us day in, day out. It's an open door policy. We work, I work in reception, so I'm front of house. So your students would be coming into the office and seeing my face first every morning, pull them. Um, but we're there to help them and we want to have that dialogue and that interaction and they need to feel supported and they need to feel happy to study well. So the, the service we provide here 
is um is really outstanding and we we love what we do and i couldn't do it if i didn't love it it's just it feel, it's a very special place to be and our students are all really happy so that to me means an awful lot well thank you so much sarah that's really indeed a selling point um i do have another question as well uh it's about accommodations. So it's been a big concern around the world accommodations. Uh, I would like to know how is the situation of accommodations for you? Like, are you fully booked? We still have places to go. How how how, um, how long do you need to uh, to take a booking to take a place on your accommodation? Okay, so um, yes, I know it's been a really big problem for so many people. Uh, so we're very lucky again because we're located in a residential area and we have been here for 44 years. Um, everybody knows us um, and everybody locally um, who wants to offer accommodation works with us because it's a nice school to work with. So it, it makes sense. So we don't have a lot of competition. We're very, very lucky. Um, at the moment, we're still rebuilding. I'll be totally honest with you. We did lose some families in the pandemic. Um, some students, um, what, sorry, some families felt nervous about hosting. Others decided they liked their home to themselves again. But we're seeing a huge increase um, in families again, which is fabulous. Um, and in fact, we're organizing a host family evening next month. So host families are gonna come to the school, talk to us, they have food and wine, speak to students, share their experiences. Um, we look after our families and they look after us. So although we did suffer the same experience as lots of the other schools for the same reasons, you know, the pandemic was a big thing and we understand that. We're now experiencing the opposite and people are coming back to us us all the time so at the moment we have lots of accommodation available and that's um homestay executive homestay summer apartments student house accommodation um and those who want hotel accommodation can organize that but that isn't something we organize ourselves it is available Airbnb was another alternative we were using when things are bad but we've got several options and lots of availability so yeah Perfect. And uh, what about the distance? Would we be expecting like the homestays and the residence to be nearby? We do have some settled, let's say, uh, 15 to 45 minutes distance or 20 minute maximum walking distance. <clears throat> so again, I keep coming back to this residential area. Sorry, it's really boring for everyone. But yes, we can walk 20 minutes maximum. Um, that's our, you know, our standard sort of rule when we're recruiting host families. So some students walk across the road and they're already home. Others walk two minutes away. Others, you know, especially in the summer months, will will have that 20 minute walk. But you can always walk, which is such a bonus. And it makes evening activities a lot more attractive as well, because students that know they can walk there and back of an evening are more likely to come and join us for the evening activities which we also really like them to be a part of um so that's homestay families student houses we have four student houses um that are owned by the school and these are essentially family houses but without the families in um so the students have their own rooms they're responsible for their own rooms um but the communal areas so the bathroom the lounge and the kitchen are shared with other beat students and we have a student um house cleaner who comes in twice a week to clean um those those communal areas and all of those houses are within five minutes walking distance of the school so that's another bonus um in the summer the summer apartments are 20 minute walk away which again is easy um and then i think that's everything the executive accommodation is the same as homestay so it's a 20 minute walking distance maximum so it really works for us it's a huge selling point perfect that's really great you know sarah and uh truly honestly it's not normal people to have this uh, you know this uh facility to get to the school this usually they usually they take between 45 to one hour distance and not 
always by walking. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah, that's crazy. To me, that feels really, you know, quite a big deal. Um, so we're very lucky to be able to offer that option. Yeah. So that's really great. So between five to 20 minutes walking. Whoa, mm -hmm. amazing. Um, well, we are uh, getting close to the end. I do have one more question. The nationality mix. This is something that Brazilian agents always wants to know. Uh, how, how is the nationality mix right now? And if you could let us know the percentage of Brazilians as well, that would be oh. great. <laughs> wow, it's a difficult question to answer that because it's changing all the time. At the moment, we have got a group of Japanese students, um, our first group of Japanese students for a while, um, and we've got um, an Italian um, group as well, but they're only here for one week. And we've also got quite a lot of Swiss Germans because of our Cambridge courses. So um, we've got a lovely mixture. I can give you a nationality breakdown if you'd like me to email you that. I absolutely can but our top nationality at the moment would be Swiss German then Italian then Japanese then Turkish and then probably Saudi so they're probably our top five at the moment um, but again that fluctuates depending on the time of year depending on who's coming Brazilians we sadly have none now so Sergio and Claudia went home last week and yes so we don't have any Brazilians at the moment so please do send us your lovely students because the Brazilians especially tend to love the the school and the area and make the most of their time here you know almost more than any other nationality I know. It's a really sweet thing. So yes, unfortunately, no Brazilians at the moment. So hopefully you'll change all that. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, but uh, it's uh, actually the, the, the nationality mix, uh, it looks like really, really great. We do have a, a really a, a good number of nationalities. And uh, when we do not have Brazilians, it's actually, <laughs> really even even easier to sell the destination because we people really wants to learn english mm -hmm. wants to look the the, the first question is uh, well what is the the percentage of brazilians we do have at the school so this is a really welcome it's really welcoming and plus uh when you well, by seeing your energy sarah and knowing that this school uh reflects this atmosphere you know this really welcoming atmosphere i think this is what brazilians really wants to have from when it's cool so uh i'm really i'm really confident that uh we would you do have everything and more for the brazilian students to be extremely happy at the at the school I hope so. uh, <laughs> that that was our last question that we had while agents were subscribing. Uh, our dearests, let us know if you do have one more question. You can write down, you can you can uh, type in Portuguese. If you prefer that I translate the question uh, for Sarah, to Sarah. Uh, if you don't have any more questions, we are going to say goodbye for now. But first, and again, Sarah, thank you so much for your time. Uh, the, all the, the, the entire explanation were, were really great. Uh, we, we you saw you were able to sell us a destination, the, the school, the, the atmosphere, the, the selling points that you brought to us are really amazing. Um, and uh, it really looks like a place where Brazilian students would really be happy to be. And uh, for all this information, thank you. And uh, you thank you so much for giving me the opportunity it's a pleasure and yeah I, I've really enjoyed it it's been lovely talking to you so thank you so much you are always welcome Sarah well looks like we do not have extra questions so again thank you all to attend thank you Sarah